Hello everyone, welcome to Ian's Bricks I'm Ian. So um, as you can see I'm back in the shopping centre. It's actually Tuesday afternoon. I've got the afternoon off work, just had some things to do this afternoon in Southampton. So I thought while I'm in Southampton, wouldn't it be a good idea to go to the Lego store again? And I know I only went a few days ago and I do apologise, but uh, I rang them up earlier and they do still have the Blacktron gift with purchase still available. So I'm going to go and see what they've got, probably buy a few more things get some more free gifts so uh, hopefully it's going to be nice and quiet in here let's go and have a look and see what they've got first thing I spotted in store then was this set the Lunar New Year Parade set 80111 uh, and also the Lunar New Year display 80110 these apparently have just been released today they're on display as well interestingly I saw these between Christmas and New Year at the Metro Centre store in Gateshead I think they might have put them out early but uh, today apparently was the official release date for these I just thought I'd show you what the backs looked like as well they had them on display which was great I do like both of these sets probably the parade more so than the other and this apparently was uh, built by one of the uh, staff in store they just sort of built this impromptu um, display here which I thought was quite nice uh, with a carrot and the bunny chasing behind and these blue bunnies apparently these are new uh, I've not seen these before I was asking one of the staff members about these really nice little blue bunnies uh, art project was still on sale at 73.49 that of course builds a space mine I built one of these recently and it is a great set um, and I was looking at some of the flower sets today as well. They had the tulips in stock, the daffodils, which I bought and built recently. Uh, they had the roses in stock. I've, I've bought and built some of those in the past and the sunflowers as well. So I had my eye on some of these particular sets and some of them were built as well as the money tree there. There's the sunflowers, the tulips and the roses all looking great. And there's the daffodils at the back really nice little sets these flower sets and there was the blue bunny this was sort of in the minifigure packs the Chinese New Year minifigure packs that they had they had the panda and the little boy and the little girl with a little blue bunny in there as well so that's where you get those blue bunnies from had some dark trooper uh, helmets in stock so I had my eye on those uh, they also had some Ahsoka Tano. Surely I can't get any more of these. Uh, another set I saw on the shelf, which is a really nice set, the train station, $69.99 in the UK. This is apparently retired at the end of the year. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's quite a nice little station. I like it with a bus. It's very clever. And also we've got the uh, the the another set here, the city um, scooter set, the pack, and that was reduced to $8.39. All finished then, so yes, I spent some more money, so apologies, but uh, there we go, nice big bag of Lego there. So uh, there's quite a few things I've got today, uh, quite a few different things, so I'm going to go home and show you everything that I bought today when I get home. Back home again, so uh, there's my Lego behind me. I'll show you what I've got in a bit, but uh, just to say a big thank you to all the staff in the Lego store, as always. Uh, there were plenty of people that recognised me, said hello. Everyone was really, really nice. It was actually quite busy in there as well. Apparently they've been really quiet in the morning, but towards the afternoon people have been coming in. Uh, it was really, it was, you know, it was for a Tuesday afternoon, I thought it was quite busy in there. I think uh, the weather outside didn't help. A lot of people were obviously looking for something to do in the warm and the dry, because it's really horrible out there it's gray it's dark it's raining damp it's really really horrible uh, so yeah I think uh, everyone's probably got January blues and thought they'd cheer themselves up by going to the Lego store a bit like I did today so uh, let's have a look and see what, what I've got uh, so first things first free gifts they only had one in store they didn't have the uh, little VIP promo but the important thing was is they had this beautiful set here the Blacktron Cruiser uh, this is set number 40580 um, I think this is uh, the third one now I've picked up from Lego stores so uh, uh, they obviously let you do that really nice set this uh, this is going to be kept sealed because um, these are doing really really well on the secondary market going for about 35 40 pounds so definitely uh, definitely worth uh, getting some more of these another one of these so really pleased to get that um, I decided to go for some different sets this time and I have been recently uh, so first things first um, I got myself this uh, set here you saw that on the, in, in my uh, in my review of the in-store review there 40526 this is the uh, the minifigure scooter pack it's reduced to about eight pounds 30 something at the moment uh, I quite like these little minifigure packs uh, I don't think they'll go up that much in value but I, I quite like them which is why I always get them so nice to get one of those uh, my total spend by the way uh, I wasn't quite sure I'd added everything up correctly Correctly, but when I got to the tiller says can you I always say to them can you just check that it's gone over the 170 pounds so I can get the free gift and it literally came to 170 pounds and 30 pence so I literally just gone over 
there's plenty of other things I could have bought if I needed to make it more than that, but I was quite happy with that. So, next on my list, a couple of uh, retiring sets. We've got this here. Uh, this is the Rosers, or, or they are the Rosers, should I say, 40460. Uh, this is a nice little set. I've actually got one of these and built one of these, but these are apparently retiring at the end of 2023. Um, so, um, they always do quite well in the run-up to Mother's Day and uh, Valentine's Day. They had quite a few of them in store, I think, ready for Valentine's Day. So, I bought... Uh, not only one of those but I bought two of those I think they're 11 99 in the UK so uh, but nice little sets I think they'll do quite well post retirement um, I also got myself uh, some of these 40461 these are the tulips I don't actually have any of these they're okay these but I, I don't think they're my favorite but 8 99 quite a cheap price for these it's quite a small little box you get three different colors the yellow the white and the sort of the, the lilac color um, really nice little set so I got two of those those as well uh, so they're going to be kept sealed and will be for um, will be um, sold on at a later date probably uh, but I did get a couple of things for myself as well and these are the sunflowers these came out I think last year and I don't own any of these yet uh, 40524 um, I recently purchased the daffodil set and really enjoyed building that I said I built the roses before as well and I just thought it would be a really good idea to get some of these sunflowers because I don't have any so I will be building these uh, I didn't only get one of these I got two of these and I'll be building both of these because uh, I want I want four four sunflowers all together I've got a, a little vase for them to put in I just think they look really really nice so two boxes of those and they will be built I'll probably do a little review on those ones as well when I get round to it at some stage. Um, what else did we get? Oh, we got some brick heads. You know me and brick heads. I like my brick heads. Um, so I got myself one of these. This is a Lord of the Rings. These only came out at the start of the years. It's Arwen and Aragon, uh, set number 40632. Uh, these are apparently only going to be on shelves for one year. So um, I think these are the kind of brick heads, a bit like Ahsoka Tano last year, where every time I go into the Lego store, I'll probably try and pick uh, one of these up because I just think these are really nice. I think out of all of the brick heads that they've done this is probably my favorite I just like the the way that they've done them I like the the head pieces this sort of printed piece here is quite nice we have a printed piece on there as well this torso is printed as well so really really nice how these look I think that that's probably my favorite uh, of all three of the sets um, and I've also gone and got myself another brick head which is the other one which is going to be retiring at the end of the year this is the Gandalf the Grey and Balrog uh, set number 40631 um, personally Gandalf looks okay uh, Balrog looks a little bit odd I'm not quite sure it's not my favorite if I'm honest but it's going to be retired at the end of the year uh, they also do the Gollum and the um, the Frodo but apparently that one's not retiring at the end of the year so I'm going to probably hold off getting any of those just yet uh, but quite nice 17 99 for these brick headsets uh, at the Lego store so uh, that's fairly average for a double double pack of uh, uh, brick head so quite pleased to got some of those or one each of those to start with and the final thing which obviously took me over the um, 170 pounds whereas I got myself another one of these the dark trooper set so you might have seen my uh, reviews or and unboxings earlier and talking about Star Wars sets this is this is apparently retiring at the end of 2023 reasonably difficult to get hold of I know throughout last year they they weren't on Lego store shelves that often you can only buy two of them from lego.com and then in the UK they're only available from Hamleys and at the moment they're out of stock $59.99 in the UK, I paid full price for them, but again, helmets always do very, very well. So I bought myself another one of these to add to my little collection. So that's pretty much everything behind me there. There's no re real point organising it. You can pretty much see everything that I've got there. Uh, yeah, bit of an impromptu trip to the Lego store. I had no intention of going there, but I needed to go into Southampton for something else. I thought, well, look, while I'm in Southampton, I might as well go to the Lego store. And I'm really, really pleased I did. As I say, it was lovely to bump into all the staff. They were all chatting to me and and saying hello and they were quite busy as well but uh, really 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 much appreciate all the staff in the Southampton Lego store they're always excellent um, so thank you very much to them anyway I hope you enjoyed this uh, impromptu haul and Lego store visit and thank you very much for watching until the next video take care for now and I'll see you then bye